I bet. So before we get into your whole story and everything, you can go ahead and tell us a little bit about you. You know where you're from, you know your age, stuff like that. All right. All right. So my name is Kevin. Um, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm 21 okay. years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got any hobbies? Not, not, not at the moment. I mean, I play a little bit of video games. That's it. A little bit of games. Yeah. What you be playing? I Xbox playing, or PlayStation? I be playing Xbox. Ah, oh, shit! I ain't gonna. Lie. I used to be on the Xbox back in the day. Yeah, I so. used to be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What you be playing? I be playing uh, Warzone, uh, but but Warzone? I be like, you know, okay. yeah, but um. Uh, uh, I, I be sometimes hooked into that, that Fortnite. Okay, okay. Yeah. Shit, I ain't, man, I ain't played Fortnite in a minute, though, man. But I used to be on that Fortnite back in the day. Yeah. Okay. You don't mind talking about your story, though, right? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so before you get into telling about your story, just tell us how that day was going. You know, like, was you having a good day, a bad day? Did you feel like something was going to happen? How was your day going? Um. Yeah, it was going good. Well, I just... um. I was at work in the morning. Um, I never, mm-hmm. I never really expected it, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. I was just, it was just a normal day. Um, and yeah, it was just like a busy day. So I, I thought I was just gonna go to the store and mm-hmm. come back, you know. And mm-hmm. I never really like made it back, you know. So yeah, okay. Take us to around five minutes before everything happened. What was you doing at that time? Um, I had just recently you know, woke up. And um, I decided to go to the store because I was gonna go grab something to eat. But I, I went to the store, and uh, and went to get some food from um, from from uh, from from like the grocery store. And mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I just um, it was like. Did a you walk day, to the you know? store? Or you drove? No, I, I I walked to the store because it was in the corner of my house. So, oh, for real? Yeah. That close? Yeah, it was it was really close. And, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I just walked up, and uh, I thought I was just gonna. Go in and out, you know, type of thing, but mm-hmm. it, it never really happened. Okay, okay. Was you walking by yourself? No, nah, um, I, I was with my girlfriend at the time, and um, okay, we both went to the store, and yeah, so. Okay, okay. So, I right, remember you got the floor. You got the floor. Just, just go ahead and tell us what happened. You good? All right, man. So yeah, so uh, I thought it was gonna be a normal day. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, it, it seemed it seemed normal. I went to work, got out of work, I mm-hmm. went to sleep. I woke up and went to the store. Um, mm-hmm. And then when we we're, were in the store, um, I told my girlfriend like, "Oh, like like get in line, you know." So so we, we go pay, and then I forgot to grab something, so I went to grab it. I come mm-hmm. back, and there's like some some dude he was trying to like like get her attention, flirt with her, and mm-hmm. I like I intervene, and um, I, I thought it was just gonna be like. You know, I I not really want to go aggressively. I just told him like you know, mm-hmm. like move around. What was around. he saying? Like he was just trying to flirt her, trying to get her numbers, okay, trying to see where she worked at, things like that. Mm-hmm. And okay. then from there, uh, yeah, I, I really went to know. I I I ain't talked to him no, like no certain way or anything. I just told him like mm-hmm. you know move around, you know. And okay. um, from there, um, I, I'm I'm going. I'm walking back to my house, um, and. I just, I just hear that uh, I'm, I just hear like from the back, like, oh, you're, you're not, you're not that, you're not tough anymore, and um, mm-hmm. um, I think he was like hidden within the like the the the, uh, the like the park cars in, in front of my house, and, okay, and okay, so so y'all in the store, y'all get into like a little brief argument. Does he leave at that time? Nah, she was still with me. No, no. Th- does he leave out the store? Yeah, he left at the store. So, so I thought it was, he was just, you know, like, w- w- like left. Mm, but okay. So, so me, 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 me and uh, me, and, me and uh, that uh, well, my his girlfriend basically. Yeah. We, we go, we go back to, we're going back to my to our house, and um. Mhm. I think he was like hidden within like the cars. Because, okay. because I I I didn't see nobody and it was already like like seven or eight eight o'clock around that time so it was a little okay. dark. How long do you think the walk was from the store to your house? Man, not even like like two minutes. It's, it's like two minutes was, that quick? Yeah, probably like it's like a block away basically. You know? Okay. Uh, okay. Do Do you feel like 
do you feel like that what was said between y'all was enough to where maybe he could have interpreted it, you know, the wrong way and, you know, wanted some type of revenge or what was really said? Like, was there any cuss words said or just nah, not really? No, nah, really. Uh, I really can't remember. I, I know I didn't want to have him aggressively. I just told him like, oh, move around, you know? Mm-hmm. And I told him like, oh, shoot with me and this and that. But, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he was probably like off something or I really don't know. Yeah. Like, it was just like yeah. uh, meaningful, meaningful, you know, cause it, it didn't have no, mm-hmm. no type of like, like like you said, there's no revenge or anything. Cause I, I really ain't told him nothing, you know. Yeah. But but the thing the thing was that uh that she he was like trying to like get her attention, get her, and she wasn't really talking to mm-hmm. him back. So yeah. I think I don't know if he got he got mad because of that too. That that she didn't okay. say nothing, or I don't mm-hmm. know. But I I think he was hitting within like some cars in front of my house because I didn't see okay. nobody there. And then from there. Um, yeah, he's, he, I just got like, I just, I got shot in my back. Um, mm. and, uh, I really never like see him there. So like, how many times did he shoot? Uh, man, I really, I really can't remember cause everything happened so quick, but I was hit three oh. times, you know? Oh, and okay. Then, okay. Okay. So what was you hit at those three times? So I was, I was, I got hit in my back. I got hit in my back twice. Mm-hmm. Um, one, one went inside my, my, my lungs. One, mm, one went to okay. my, my kidney, and then the other one, I got shot in my leg. And then okay. and then from there, I just started, like, feeling... I, I immediately dropped with, like, with the with the first um, uh, gun, yeah. uh, gunshot. And mm-hmm. I, think, I, think, I think that's what paralyzed me, basically. And, mm. um, yeah, from there, I just started feeling, like, a lot of, like... Uh, my, my legs were burning a lot. Like, really, really, mm, like, okay. ha-ha, burning. Like I yeah. did for the good shot wound, but my legs were burning more, like a lot, yeah. like mm-hmm. like boiling, you know. And yeah. then uh, from there, uh, my my th- th- thankfully uh, she, uh, the the the, per- the girl that I was with, she didn't got she didn't got shot too, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was she 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 ran to uh she ran to uh, my mother, and then from there they they, they like they called the ambulance and uh yeah. Mm-hmm. It, 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 they told me it, it, they didn't drag like five minutes, but I thought they, they dragged like like twenty, thirty minutes because yeah. they, they just thought. That's like, how I feel. Yeah, because they were just. It seemed like they were taking forever, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, from there, um, uh, but I couldn't move my legs at all, and like everything was like burning and everything. Um, okay, I, so I, I didn't. You good? You good? Yeah. So from there, like I got, I got to a hospital. Like I, I was never really shot before, so. I thought it okay. was like I, th- I thought uh you know it was just gonna be like a different day or I I think my I thought that my my body was like in shock you know and that's why I couldn't move okay. my legs you know yeah and yeah. Then- no of course of course so so you shot you land on the ground what's going through your head at that time because you said your legs was burning but you couldn't move your legs so yeah. what's going through your head at that moment man I was just like I was scared you know basically I was yeah. just like. Uh, I was just like, it, you know, it was like I I knew what was gonna really gonna happen. I don't know if it was seconds yeah. or minutes that were going by fast because everything was yeah. just going so by so 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 slowly. So I really mm-hmm. I, I was scared. I thought I was something was gonna happen to me that, uh, or anything, uh, mm-hmm. but but nothing happened. Thankfully. Okay, uh, so once he shot you, he just ran. Yeah, he ran and. Like mm. they, ain't nobody, nobody knows who, who, who like who did it or yeah. anything either. I think that's what hurts yeah, more sense. too, cause I mean, then they like he got away with it basically, you know. So yeah, they, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, so you laying on the ground. Does your mom come out the house at this moment? Uh, yeah, she she comes out the house. Uh, well, well, my the my, the girl that I was with, she she ran into my mom, and. Uh-huh. uh they come out. That that's when they call the ambulance. Um, mm. I have my I have my phone, but I, I just couldn't couldn't really talk. I was still like in a shock, you know. And yeah. or what's going on at that me. moment? Like what's going on at that moment? You know, your mom come out the house. She see you on the ground. What's going on? Like, take us there. Yeah, well, well, well um, they closed down like like a little bit of the block. Um, a lot of people okay. came out. I have my family like out there just crying, and it was yeah. just like. Yeah, it was it was a sad day. 
Yeah, man, that's su- that sucks that it was that close to your house to where you know your mom had to witness that or you know like come outside and see that. So yeah, I know. that sucks. That sucks. All right, so the ambulance get there. You said they get there in like five minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so th- they get there. What are you feeling at that moment? Because you say your lung got hit. So is it hard to breathe? Are you gasping for air? How you feeling? At th- how you feeling at that moment? Because I know when my lung got hit. Bro, I was I was passing in and out. I couldn't breathe. It was, you know, like it was a whole no. bunch of stuff going through my head. I'm thinking I'm about to die. I'm, you know, what's crazy about it is that a a, a stranger, like a, like a basically a like a neighbor, cause mm-hmm. my my the my, my mom and my, my girlfriend they were just like hugging each other and they were not really yeah. like they were just crying. But it, it was a stranger that was like telling me like, oh, like stay up, stay up, and she was like. She was like smacking mm-hmm. me up, you know, because I, yeah. I, I was kind of passing, I was kind of, kind of, kind of passing out too, but I was, I was still like there. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't really talk like that. Okay, so the ambulance get there. Are you conscious this whole time, or are you going in and yeah. out of it? No, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm still, I'm still conscious, but I, I really okay. don't remember get, getting to. I, I remember them putting me inside the ambulance. I, I, I don't remember get me getting to, to the, to the um, emergency uh, room. Uh, okay, and um. Yeah, from there, uh, probably woke up a couple of days later. I, I was, I, they were waking mm-hmm. me up, which was like for medicine, and I was like, yeah, I was, I was like that for like at least three, four days, just, just sleeping, you know. Uh, yeah. From there, uh, um, I, I thought it was, I thought, uh, they, they, nobody really told me what was going on, and, and like, mm-hmm. like they, I couldn't like move my legs or anything, none of that, yeah. and. Um, yeah, like just like like I'll say like four or five days passed by. I was I I, I was uh, I would only be up for like a couple hours, but then somebody came and they told me that um I I, could, I, I was like I was shot in my my spine and mm. I lost it from there. You know um yeah I, I, I didn't want to like see nobody and people they mm. they will come visit me. I was just like you know like uh, push them away or anything. And, and this happened like mm. probably like two three months before COVID hit. So, uh, oh. um, so th- you know, this this is uh, th- yeah. there is still like they were still allowing people to go in there, but I was like, mm-hmm. I I wanted to see nobody, you know, I didn't want nobody to see me yeah. like that, you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so okay, so they come in there, they tell you your spine got hit. What do they actually say to you? Like, do they tell you that you're never gonna walk again? You might not walk again. What are the exact words that they tell you? No, they you know, just told me. Cause for most people, they don't really say anything. They they just you know like they might bring up the you know like your spine was damaged, but they never really say, "Oh, you might not walk again." On some people, but some people they do. Yeah. So for me, um, basically, they told me like if I, if I if the, the the first thing they were telling me like if I could feel my legs and things like that, mm-hmm. but I was just telling them the same thing that they burned, and because mm-hmm. they, they were just they were just burning a, a lot still. Yeah. And I, I thought it was because I, I got like you know everything that had just happened to me, and then mm-hmm. from there, uh, they, they somebody did told me that um I was a I was a L one uh spinal cord okay. injury okay and they told me that uh I just had to go to ther- therapy um because mm-hmm. nobody really in, um in the in the ICU they nobody they told me like oh you never gonna walk no, none of that they just told me that yeah it was gonna take time you know and they okay. said that. They said that usually the usually if it comes back, it comes back before eighteen months, you know. And mm-hmm. and after that, it's like, you know, it's like a, it's like a wrap, you know. And yeah. they uh um like the, the one that the one that actually told me that uh, most likely I will never walk again was it wasn't like when I was in physical therapy, but when I was in the mm-hmm. ICU, they really didn't tell me none of that, you know. Yeah. Okay, okay, so. The moment that the doctor comes in and tell you that your spine got hit, who's in the room with you? Is it just you by yourself, or is your mom in no. the room? Your girlfriend in the room? No, it was my it was my girlfriend in the room. Uh, but mm. and that from there, I just like I really didn't want to see nobody, and yeah. uh, I, I I told uh, my uh, she she called my mom, she called um, mm. like my grandma, and yeah, yeah. everybody started like like coming, yeah. and I just didn't want to see nobody. It, it was. Mm. Yes, How did your girlfriend day. at the time take it? How did she uh, take it? She, she took it as, I guess, 
but but first it was like uh, traumatized for her because she's she seen it like yeah right there yeah um mm-hmm. and she just told me everything was gonna be okay um the the that uh that I heard the doctor the usually everything comes back within eighteen months and she just you know so, trying to trying to like Motivation. put spirit yeah trying to put spirit in, inside of me you know yeah and it, it just uh, you know. It, yeah. I can't. I can't really talk about it to this day, you know, because it still kind of hurts a little bit, you know. And no, nah, my, look, my man, look. Trust me, I understand what you're going through, man. It's it's tough, you know. Especially for me, the first two years was tough. You know, I don't know how long you've been watching my channel, but you know, I didn't. It didn't start here, so you, so what you see right now, or what what you see me do. You know, it didn't start like this, my man. It took it, it took me a while. You know, I was I was in I was in that sunken place for for two years. You know, I didn't, bro. I didn't leave the bed, like for real. For like, bro, I didn't leave, bro. I would, bro. I would piss on myself, shit on myself, bro. I did not leave the bed, bro. Like I didn't cast. I didn't do nothing. I didn't want to. I was not only was I in denial. It's just like mentally, like I really wasn't there. But then at the same time, it's just. I didn't want to come to grips with what I actually had to do to really like survive, you know, like when it came to actually cathing or doing bowel care, bro, is I didn't want to do it. I couldn't really fathom, you know, having to use a catheter. I, I couldn't fathom having to do digital stimulation whenever, you know, I got to do bowel care. So, bro, it took me a while. It Like it took me, a, it took me a long time, man. And, it, you know, uh, that's what I really try to tell people, you know, it's trust me. It's tough at first, you know, because you you really had your legs your whole life. It's really tough on anybody. You know, you said you're 21 now, right? Yeah, I'm 21. So this happened when you was either 18 or 19? I, I was 19. I was just 19 in like two, three months. Mm, okay. Damn. So. Okay. So you were in the hospital. The doctor comes and tell you that. How long after you wake up do you start doing some type of therapy? How long is it until you get in a wheelchair? You know, probably, probably like after after I got shot, probably like 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 two weeks, two weeks and two two two, two three weeks, cause um two, three I, weeks? Like, yeah, cause okay, um, the, uh, some therapists will come and they'll tell me like, oh, you gotta get in a wheelchair because you don't you cannot mm-hmm. be in the room. But it was just okay. be for like a couple minutes, and, and you know they'll be, it'll be it was the really big bulky. Hospital wheelchairs that, that don't work, bro. Yeah. You know? yeah. Look, trust me. I just, <laughs> look, I just did an interview with somebody. He said the same thing, bro. He said, as soon as they started getting them up in the wheelchair, bro, it's this big ass, big bulky wheelchair. The, bro, look, we call that the hospital wheelchair. All right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, bro, that shit hella big. The wheels are fucking huge. You know, the armrests come up to like here and shit. You know, it's like you feel, you feel small in that wheelchair, you know, because it's not fitted for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Okay, so all right, two three weeks they start getting you up in a wheelchair. How long is it from the time that you get up to the time you're getting out the hospital? How long is that? How long are you actually in the hospital? Um, I was in the hospital. I I, I think I was in ICU for like a good month, and then Ooh, then mm, from then okay. from there I still had to wait like uh like like a week or two to mm-hmm. uh to get transferred to um uh. Well, there's a there's a hospital in, right here in uh, Chicago called uh, okay. Charlie Ryan Ability Lab, and okay. um, I had to wait uh, to to get mm-hmm. inside of there, and then okay. uh, yeah, I was from there in physical therapy. I was th- I was like a good like 21 days too. Uh, okay. uh, mm. So I, I I was in the hospital for like a good 10 months. I got out a week before oh. the Super Bowl, basically. So th- that's how I know. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. 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 Damn. So you was up in it for 10 months. Okay. So no, why no, do you think you was it? No, for 10 or, weeks. 10 weeks. 10 oh, weeks. 10 weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you up in there. Okay. So that's about two and a half months. Okay. All right. Um, Do you feel like that you learned everything that you needed to learn within those two and a half months? Um. Nah, man. Not really. Not nah. really. What nah. they teach you? Not I me. Mean, they just they teach me just just simple stuff like, uh, like bat about tub transfers, transfer to a okay. wheelchair from the bed, 
Um, so just a little basic, it, just a little basic stuff then. Yeah, car uh, and then our okay. car transfer and things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you wake up, how many machines are you hooked on? Man, I can't even remember. Was it a lot? Yeah, it was a couple. It was a couple. Um, yeah, yeah. Th those are the things that you really, lot. you really don't, don't, don't notice. You know, when you're there, you know. Um, yeah, I never really me, even I thought know. about that. I just, I really don't, don't like thinking about that. I just want to move forward, mm -hmm. and you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have a uh, did you have a trach in your throat or no? Uh, no, but 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 that but 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 by like the when when uh when when I was sleeping they said I did, but I think I think I was like that for like a good like ten days, and okay. and but like sleeping okay. and uh no mm -hmm. no I was like that for like five five six days sleeping. And then uh, okay. uh, until the 10 day, I was still sleep a lot because it would hurt. My back would mm -hmm. hurt a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, it's, man, it's, it's still painful. <laughs> nah, man, I understand. I understand. So, okay, so you, you get discharged from the hospital. What's that feel like? Man, um, was you scared? It, it, was, it was not that I scared. It's just. Uh, during the time that I was in the hospital, it, w it was like I have, I'll mm -hmm. have, I'll, I have visitors and I have friends, yeah. uh, family members will come see me, mm -hmm. and and it kind of it felt good, you know. But yeah. the, the, that one that one day that uh that it was gonna about to be my last day of uh, um int in in intake th uh, therapy, uh, mm -hmm. and they start measuring you and they start doing this like trying trying to mm -hmm. see how much like your wheelchair fit in. It's like it hits yeah. you and be like, you, it's like, damn, you know, I, I really need, I'm gonna really need a wheelchair, you know. So, mm -hmm. it it, does. I, I guess, I guess that was like really, really depressing, and uh, okay. and, and yeah, just basically, that's 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 when I knew for sure, like, oh yeah, you you're really gonna need a wheelchair, for mm -hmm. the rest of your life if 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 uh if, you know if science don't advance, uh, yeah, you know, and okay. yeah. Okay, so you get out the hospital, and I know you said that uh, that the girl that you was with that she's your ex. Yeah. How long are y'all together after your injury? After my injury, I don't know, like, man, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about it. About like twenty uh, months, you good, you good. so about twenty months. Yeah, so it, it was just recently, a couple like couple, couple days before my birthday, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so probably like a good like twenty months, twenty one months. Okay, okay. Do you feel like that the breakup had anything to do with you being in a wheelchair? Nah, man. It, 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 I don't think. Right, it, I don't. I don't think right, it has not to do with it because she she mm -hmm. she showed a lot of um. Mm -hmm. Like she, she showed me like she was really a down girl, you know, for me, you know, yeah. and, and the, what, 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 what people call a ride or die, you know, um, mm -hmm. um, it, it was just that, that's what uh, you want. That's what you want. Yeah, but um, uh, I, I guess, I guess what really led for us to break up was um, when I was up and, uh, and and I was good. I wasn't, I wasn't really of a of a good man to her, you know, and yeah. I guess I got, the, I guess that got in, in the way, and mm -hmm. um. It was just it would be arguments here and there. It was it wouldn't be because of my wheelchair, but it would be like yeah, th things she would not let go, you know. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Do you do you feel like do you feel like that you regret what you did? You know, sick enough for her in the store. Nah, man. I I I, I, I you don't regret it. Nah, I don't. It's just you know, it's it's not it's not I'm. I, it's it's like it's like she was basically like um man my bad but uh nah bro bro you good you good trust me yeah trust but me, I, 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 yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't take it back not not a bit because like I I would still do that for her you know even if I was in yeah. a wheelchair I was, I would have still done that not not because I'm in a mm -hmm. chair that means I'm not mm -hmm. gonna like you know stand my ground you know mm -hmm. so yeah I do the same for my wife that's understandable yeah. mm hmm okay. Okay, so you've been in you've been in a wheelchair for about two years now, right? Yeah. Okay, so 
What do you feel has been the biggest obstacle since you've been in a wheelchair? Accepting myself. Um, Except okay. Yeah, accepting myself. Um, like right now, uh, it, like I'm not gonna lie to you. In the, during the day, it'd be good. Um, like I, I'm, I interact yeah. with people. Um, I, I mm-hmm. recently just uh, a couple months ago, uh, I ended up getting like a job. So in the morning, For real? yeah. So, okay. Okay. Where are you working at? Uh, it's, it's a couple minutes by my house. Um, it's a, it's a it's a great company. They help people with disabilities. Um, okay. The day the day that I went there and asked for a job, uh, I, I mean, I the day that I had a, a interview for a job, the the, the person that mm-hmm. gave me an interview, he's in a wheelchair. So that for that, real, yeah. So that brought up my my, my hopes. So that brought up my okay. hopes up. And then from there, I, I ended up I ended up seeing that they they hire people, they hire other people with disabilities, they hire people that cannot mm-hmm. they cannot speak. They are deaf. Mm, uh, they got. Okay. They hire people. Uh, people that have autism. So it like mm, okay. it, it, it brought up like a lot of like. Gave you some hope. Yeah, it gave me it gave me a lot of hope. You know. And yeah, okay. okay. yes. that's what's up. That's what. So what do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm like a. So it's a warehouse. So they got me as a, as, okay. as a QC. So they just see me. Uh, it's quality control. So I I, I see what's uh. Like what? Like I see what's coming out in the pallet. I um mm. I open a box, and if it's good, then it, then it, then it goes. But then if if one box is wrong, then they got to do it again. Basically, you know, okay. it, it's a it's a it's a really nice uh you know company, and, and and got me um got me going uh got me do, doing things throughout the day. So like I said, everything's good, good throughout man. the day because I, I talk to people, mm-hmm. I interact with people. But what what hits me more the most is like right now in the night, you know. The 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 you just you go through it you go through you like go through I go I'm going through things like alone I overthink mm-hmm. and, and yeah, we all do yeah so yeah mm-hmm. the, it, it, that I guess that um accepting myself and also like de- dealing with my uh, with my disability uh, alone basically also well not alone okay. but like in a way alone because I do got people that um. That I'm that, that I uh that, like my family because because cause man my, my, my mom she you know I got a Latina mom she be everything I told her yeah. she she's gonna go tell her her sisters my grandma ah, and, ah. You know, that's why that's why I don't I don't be telling her nothing you know so yeah. it's kind of hard for me to have that trust bond with her and tell her this yeah. so mm. uh that that's okay yeah I also mm. uh the 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 hospital that uh when I have my the that they took me when um I had just recently had the this um when I when I recently got in shot uh there's mm-hmm. I I have group I I got like a group every Tuesday that I that I talk to people okay. and and also like other victims that have been uh they're, they're not just people that are are in wheelchairs but other people that are just um uh victims of gun gun violence basically and mm-hmm. uh, okay yeah yeah it's just. Like, like, do you talk to anybody in the wheelchair? Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, one one of those guys and and uh, uh, like there was like a I think a counselor from uh, okay. no a social worker. A social worker uh, came and talked to me when I was in the hospital, mm-hmm. and she, he uh he he met my he introduced myself to one a uh, good friend of mine, and uh, he mm-hmm. came to see me there, and uh, to this okay. day I still talk to him. He's he he's he's a That's he's dope. a dope, he's a dope, dope. rapper. And uh, Real? He, okay, yeah, yeah he okay. Know he, what's his rap name? Uh, I, 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 uh, the, the um, D- DJ uh, Lonzo, Lo, Lonzo, yeah, and okay. uh, okay. yeah, uh, he just had a like, he, he just performed too in the south of Chicago. I went to see him, and it, it was okay. pretty good. Okay. It was pretty good. That's you know? dope. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. I've been there with you, you know, when it comes to nighttime and you all by yourself, man, and all types of thoughts running through your head, man, but. You know, my advice to you is, you know, try to stay busy, you know, you know, also get around loved ones too. You know, like I know you said that you got your family around you. That support system is, is what's really going to help you out right now. You know, the first couple of years, trust me, don't isolate yourself. You know, if anything, try to get out there because the more you isolate yourself is the more that you're going to want to say to yourself, the more you're going to stay in that room. You know, you want to get out. Trust me, like. A lot of people think that that once you get in the wheelchair, your life is over. When it, it's really not, 
you know there bro it's so many things that you could do it's so bro I, it's so many things i've done since i've been paralyzed that i would have never thought that i would do you know is you know like driving driving is when i'm traveling up the country traveling period you know yeah. just traveling on my own bro like going to the airport on my own getting on the airplane on my own travel just traveling on my own period bro like you can do all that you know and i don't want you to lose hope i don't want you to feel like you can't do it because you know if you've seen our videos i've done it you know and i and just don't lose hope all right just don't lose hope because i know you said you're going through it right now and i like i said bro i know this is a tough time right now all right but you got this you got this bro. Yeah, thanks i appreciate it yeah, man, I, um, I got I got a I got an older brother. He uh, the, mm -hmm. the first the first year of uh, me being a uh, being in a wheelchair, and, and and COVID too. I guess COVID had to do a major uh, key yeah. role, and um, I, I stood myself inside, and it was it was a present uh, mm -hmm. until like last last summer. No, like yeah, until last last summer. Yeah, exactly last summer. Yeah. Last summer around March, my my, mm -hmm. my older brother he he um, he bought me some uh. uh some portable uh, hand controls portable to drive. Portable hand controls, okay. okay. Yeah, and he, yeah. Uh, he showed me how to drive within within like an hour, you know. Um, because mm, it oh, was like, yeah, it was like, um, like I already knew how to drive, so I, I don't know how I got mm -hmm. the hang of it, but it was just, it was just there, you know. Bro, bro, you don't know what it took me like five minutes too, bro. It's I don't know if you already know how to drive, bro. Yeah. Using a hand control is just so easy. Like it comes to you, like like. Like you've been doing it your whole life, for real, for real. Like it's, it, bro, it's for so real. easy. Push, pu push for brake, pull for gas. You know what I mean? And then, but as you get more advanced and you, like you get older, and you know you get the fixed hand controls, you, you, you'll be able to get into other things to where like I don't know, bro. Like you, like you just get into other stuff. Like not, not really get into other stuff, but you'll be able to see w what else is out there. Is there anything that you want to do that you feel like that you can't do right now? Um, yeah, man. I want to. I want. I want to swim. You know, basically, it's one thing swim? I want to do. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So, I think I think that's that's probably like a goal I gotta I gotta accomplish within like a year or two. Yeah, that's okay. one thing I want to do. Um, I, I've done like like pool therapy and everything, but what what, mm. what throws me off is that uh, like like my legs go to the side. Basically, they don't got no no no. They're not. They're not properly like. I'm not properly standing on water. It's just like they're floating, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's okay. one thing that I'm like kind of like scared of too, because I don't want to, you know, drown <laughs> or, or none of that. Nah, but, nah. Hey, look, man. Hey, look. Get up in there with a the vest on, because we got a pool in the back. And like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't been in the pool in a while, but like, I ain't gonna lie. When I do get into it, man, is 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 definitely therapeutic. It's relaxing. You know, I wish I did it more, but I don't. But I can see you want to get in the pool because I wanted to go swimming too, man. Trust me, you could do it. What's crazy about it? it I think it was last year um, with the mm -hmm. with the with the Paralympics, and I I, I okay. seen it all, man. With the, with those things, I, I was really hooked up into it. I was seeing a lot of mm -hmm. people swim, and and that bring yeah. that brought a lot of confidence into me. You know, and that's I, dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope, man. If it's something that I wish I would have did like early on into my paralysis, I wish I would have got more active into the sports and try to do something in the Paralympics. I feel like I could have did something. I still feel like I could do something. I don't know. Maybe I just don't really do the research and you know, like try to see what's out there. But you know, you young, you only twenty one right now, bro. Get into some sports. Look, look and see what's out there, bro. Look and see what's out there. One of my friends, you know, DJ, he wants me to go try um, basketball, but but okay, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm wait, uh, that, that's what they were doing. Uh, like at the end of the of last summer, it was around. Yeah, but I'm waiting this mm -hmm. year because I'm trying to do softball. You know, okay, actually, yeah, I, okay, I, okay. So I'm trying to I'm trying to do sports as well too. Uh, but okay, but, you know, that's dope. Just, that's dope, man. We, I don't uh, I don't know what city you in, but we, right here is crazy, man. But just the winter just passed and it'd be snowing mm -hmm. a lot here, so. Yeah. Oh, how, you know what? How is it? How is it being in a wheelchair and having to deal with the snow? Let us know how it is. I'm cu I'm curious about it. Man, man is you gotta work. You know, you gotta work. You gotta work. Ah, man. okay, okay. Yeah, because man, it's, man. First off, it'd be cold, and also <laughs> like I, I got a couple stairs in front of my house, and uh, okay. 
every time I would leave in the morning, I had to put like a like a towel on under me so I wouldn't get like my pants wet, you know. And mm-hmm. uh, from there, I just have I, if if it's not too high, um, then I'll be able to like go go like go to my car. But other than that, yeah. I'll have my mom help me, you know. Uh, okay. So yeah, that, I think that was a little bit more difficult too because um I had to I had to like. Like right now, right now that is the 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 snow went away. Uh, I wake up like, like probably like a forty minutes, thirty minutes before going mm-hmm. to work because I only work like fifteen minutes away from my house, you know. Uh, okay. And um, yeah, before when um uh, my mom because my mom works in the morning too, I had to wake up like at four thirty and and I'd be had to be, I had to be in my car for like a whole hour already because you know if mm-hmm. I I had to be ready basically. You know, I, mm-hmm. I had no other option. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Probably like, probably like, like twenty minutes, thirty thirty minutes. It, it don't it don't take me okay. that long too. Okay. Uh, do you do bow care in the morning? Huh? Do you do bow care in the morning? No, nah, not not I, I, not not because I be getting up like at five. I don't be having to go like until probably like yeah nine ten. So okay, okay. So you do it at night. What? Uh, no, no, I, no, about- no, 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 nine or ten in the morning. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so n- n- when I wake up, I don't, I, I don't gotta, I don't gotta go right away, but mm-hmm. probably like a couple of hours later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you at work at that time, or do you do you leave from work and do it, or how does that work? Because I know you said that you go to work at, you go to work early, right? Or- yeah, yeah. From I work at six, so I still be, okay. at, I'm still at work during that time. Okay. Okay. So you just do it on the toilet then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How long does it take you? Probably like I'm gonna lie. Sometimes I gotta be sitting there, but probably like ten okay. minutes. Probably seven minutes. You know, seven ten minutes. Bro, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, my man. That's that. That's that's pretty fast, bro. Look, yeah. that's, look. I've been I've been in Witcher ten years, and it still take me like thirty minutes and forty five minutes. You know what I mean? Bro. So, yeah, bro. So for you, you know what you said you were L one. So, so where does where does your paralysis actually start at? Probably is it your like, belly button, or I, I, like what is like it under, around my belly button, underneath my belly button, around there? Okay, are I, you I a complete want. or incomplete? Incomplete. Incomplete. So you can feel a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the funny thing is, I, I can move my right leg. I can bring it in, up and down, up and down. I could kick, mm-hmm. but my left leg is like, you know, it's like spaghetti leg, basically. Yeah, I got it. Mm. I could probably lift it up a little bit, but I, I be thinking that's like my hip, my hip motion. You know, it's not really like a mm-hmm. like a like a muscle twitch. You know. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. It's just, uh, uh, what, what kind of injury are you? Uh, I'm T10, T11, so I'm par- I'm pretty much paralyzed from the belly button on down. I can't feel nothing. Uh, you're incomplete or incomplete? Complete. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, uh, they, 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 they're giving me like stop soothing, so, so, um, stool that's what they call stop, yeah, stool softener. Stool softener. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't like those, bro. I just, I'd well, rather that, just, I stopped taking them because they hurt my stomach. Nah, they like, I, I'll just, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll start taking them because I just, I just like, it, it, it means, uh, it made me, um, I, th- I, th- I, th- I I'll think to myself that I had to be wearing a diaper all day because it was just like, mm-hmm. I couldn't hold it, you know? So from yeah. there, uh, so from there, I just, I just left the pop. Uh, I don't be drinking pop like that no more. I just be drinking water okay. so I could, uh, like, okay. be hydrated, you know? So I don't, because okay, before, so, I, 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 yeah. I, before I'll get stuck there, I, I, I wouldn't lie to you before, like, I'm, I'll be in the hospital. I'll get stuck. I'll be there for like thirty minutes, and mm-hmm. yeah, from there I just I, I, I just be you know drinking water, so it could be like yeah. smoother, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, so do you? So can you feel it when you got to use the restroom? Oh uh, yeah, I gotta do. Uh, it, it's it, uh, it's kind of weird, but I be feeling like um, like a little bit of like a little bit of like a pressure in my back, and that's when mm, I, that's me when too, I, me too, me too. Yeah, that that's when, and I'll be feeling like I have to crack my back, you know, because I'm sitting mm, all day. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I feel the yeah, same exact yeah, way. Yeah, until, until I understood, like, okay, that that's my body telling you, like, oh, you gotta use a bathroom. 
Because before I just yeah. start cracking my back and I couldn't yeah, find like, it. I'd, I'd, be, I'd, be like, I'd be like twisting, you know, like, I, yeah. I put a bottle of water back there, you know what I mean? Like, just just yeah. sitting back there. But nah, man, I just did it right there. <laughs> yeah. But nah, I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Okay. So mm, let me see how I want to ask this. Do you? Do you feel like you hold any hatred in for the guy that shot you? Man, that's a tough one. Um, mm -hmm. Probably a little bit of hate because uh, it was meaningful, you know? Yeah. Um, the, the, well, what I said that I'll, I'll forgive him, probably not. Mm -hmm. Uh I just, yeah, I just, I just can't understand, you know, uh, uh, yeah. just uh, a little bit of here. I'll, okay, I'll say a little bit. Okay. If you could ask him one question, what would it be? Man, I, I know it'd probably be a silly question, but why can't he just find me, bro? You know, like, it would have been better, you know? I feel you, I feel you. Yeah, I you know, you. like, we would have yeah. both went home. You know, you know, like mm -hmm. like how like how Craig's dad told him, you you sometimes win some, you sometimes lose some. You ever seen that movie exactly. Friday? Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> bro. Who haven't seen Friday? Yeah. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, you feel so, me? And, and, yeah, and, bro. You don't you win them all, bro. Yeah, and you live, you live to fight another day. You know that, like exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, I, yeah, it's, it's it's still hard, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh So, do you have any questions for me? Um. Hey, look! Now's your chance, my man. Ask away. You good? You good? Ask away. Yeah. How can? How, how, how are you so like full live? You know, like I'm, I'm keep seeing you. You're smiling. You know, you you mm -hmm. you got a you got a you got a great channel. Uh, Appreciate you know, it. Thank there, you. There's a, there's like a million people in a wheelchair, and like like you and, and just a, like a handful of others just stand out. You know, because you guys you guys are, mm -hmm. are, are like on track and don't let. Don't let things like push you back, you know. So, mm -hmm. so how, how what keeps you motivated, you know? Basically, mm -hmm. man, I'm just to be honest, bro. I'm really just happy to be alive, man. Like I think about it every day. Like I, I like they told my mom I won't go make it. You know, they told her to you know prepare for the worst. You know, so just just knowing that and really understanding that and knowing that you know in September. That'll actually be 10 years since I've been paralyzed. Just knowing that, like, instead of it being 10 years of me being paralyzed, it could be 10 years since I died, you know? And just really knowing that, man, just, it, it makes my day every single day. You know, yeah, I might wake up paralyzed every single day, man, but at least I wake up every day. And that's how I look at it. I'm just, I'm just grateful to wake up, you know? That's why I say, the air I breathe in smell better. The food I eat tastes better. You know, the water I drink tastes that much better. Every bro, everything, bro. It's it's just I'm just grateful to be alive, man. And that's what I just try to tell people. At least you alive, you know, because there's a lot of people that get shot one time that don't make it, bro. There's a lot that people can learn from this story, you know. Um, it's tough, you know, like it's tough because it was a it was a senseless act. It was. It was meaningless, bro. Like, like you said, he could have just fought you, you know. And look, I know what you're going through right now. All right, me and thousands of other people know what you're going through, bro. It's tough right now, but trust me, the days get better. All right, look, bro. I'm proud to see that you working, like for real, for real. To know that you got a job, bro, that shit really inspired me, like for real, for real. Like that's dope. And I'm yeah, telling man. you, it's somebody, bro, because I know somebody out there right now in the wheelchair that's looking for a job and he feel like that every place is really discriminating against him because he's in a wheelchair. Uh, that that, that right? kind of happened to me too, though, because uh, I'll I go to like, uh, like, like, like Joe Law School, I go to Walmart yeah. and, and mm -hmm. they'll tell me like, oh, we're going to call you back. And uh, mm -hmm. actually there, there was a, there was a, there's a manager in, uh, in, uh, in Joe Law School, she didn't even try to try to like give me an interview she just told me like straight up like oh no you, you cannot 
can you can you you gotta work somewhere like in a library somewhere where you won't do like like actual like labor job mm. and that kind of hurt me you know and from there yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't want to go to uh, like interviews no more and, and then um, okay. I got connected to um with a counselor and it's called yeah. it's called a ticket to work program take it to work okay yeah. and then um uh, from there is a uh it, it, i think they work in all, all the 40 49 no no all the 48 states and stuff like hawaii and alaska but uh okay. they, they help people get into jobs you know and um uh, okay from there That's um, That's from there they connect the ticket to work yeah and um uh, okay. i'll send you i'll send you like like the the, the, the link or some later um uh, and okay. uh Okay. If you want, you can share with other people, you know, because I was there, I you know. It. I got it. And then, yeah. And uh, of course. Yeah. From there, uh, like I said, man, I, I went to I went to the just uh, the employer that I got now, and what mm-hmm. what really brought me up was the the person that gave me an interview was was in a wheelchair, you know. And mm-hmm. uh, I see That's him dope. every day, That's and dope. I, you know, it's like it's like yeah, like you're grateful. Yeah, God, God put put okay. them in, in my in my in my way, you know, basically. Okay, so, 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 do you feel like that, you know, while you was job hunting, that jobs were discriminating against you because you was in a wheelchair? Not really, because I, th- I, 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 all of them would be a, a great, it would be a great interview, and so they they wouldn't call me back, you know, and so and so. But, but do you feel like that they didn't call you back because you was in a wheelchair, or do you think that they didn't call you back because you just wasn't the person for the job? I, I, I just need to think that uh, probably probably some that they didn't want me, but some, but uh, like like you said, uh, I don't think I was for the I was fit for the job, you know, because okay. uh, what they used to tell me was like, oh, when 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 you get an interview, because I I have the interview in the phone over the phone mm-hmm. first, and they'll tell me like, don't not tell them you're in a wheelchair, don't not tell them you're in a wheelchair, you know, that's the mm-hmm. first thing that people told me, and um, mm-hmm. I guess like like I, I just put myself in their position, like I've never seen. Somebody in a, in, in a wheelchair come and ask for a job, you know. So yeah. it'll probably be like, oh, where, where can I put him, or, or or what position can I give him, and, and things like that, you know. So I guess mm-hmm. I guess probably like an able-bodied person came and they just like he okay. was just fit for, fit for the job. The only person that mm-hmm. I think really discriminated me was that uh, that Jewel Oscar manager that told me uh, I should have worked, I should go apply in, a, in like in a library, you know. Like she was straight okay. up, she was straight up forward and you know blown mm-hmm. with it and. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that that's the only one. Okay, okay. Do you have any Do you have any goals or dreams that you want to accomplish? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I work I work in the morning. I work from six to two thirty, and then okay. right in front of my my job, there's like a there's a, there's a community college, um, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm thinking of probably signing myself up to do like some some computer pro- programming coding. And, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cause I now have, we talking. Cause, yeah. Cause I have a lot of time in my hands and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm already tired of do, doing TikTok every day and doing the same thing every day. You know, I, <laughs> okay. I want to stay busy, you know, and, um, mm-hmm. I, I, I want to do be some... doing TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the TikTok. Benny Motero, D E N N Y M O T E R O, uh, okay. zero, zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you yeah, doing so, there? Huh? What do you do on TikTok? Um, I, I wanted to show, uh, like, share some videos here and there, but I really don't be sharing videos. I probably be sharing like once a month, probably uploading okay. a video. And, okay, uh, send me a couple of videos so I can put them up on the uh, on the video. Okay, I got you. All right, bet it up, my man, bet it up. Uh, is there anything else that you want to say? Uh, um, n- n- uh, not really. Just, just uh, thanks for the opportunity. You know. Yeah, uh, no problem, I know man. I know we had to do do this uh like probably like last week you know but it's been a That's, things that going on yeah nah but look bro look trust me I know man uh I know I know trust me I understand bro but I really appreciate you coming on taking the time out of your day you know to come on and do this video with me like I know sharing I know sharing your story is something that can be touchy but I also know that it's very therapeutic at the same time. Cause I know it for a long time I didn't want to share my story, and when I did it, it was like a weight was lifted off my shoulders, bro. So I really yeah. commend you, and I really appreciate you really coming on here sharing your story. And like I said, bro, it's very inspirational even to me that that you working, all right? Because I I don't know too many people in wheelchairs that got jobs, all right, bro. So to hear that you even got a job, bro, and it's 
in bro, two years after your injury, bro, like that's what's up, man. Like I'm telling you, a lot of people is gonna see your story and really get some get some inspiration from it, bro. Because it's a lot of people out there that think that they can't work. It's a lot of people out there that think that they can't drive. All right, look, you say you you traveling in the snow. You feel me? You getting in your car, you driving to work, bro. That's people need to hear that. All right, people really yeah. need to hear that. I needed to hear that. You know, so. I just want to say thank you for coming on here, sharing your story, my man. And damn, bro, thank you, bro, for real, for real. Like, yeah. I, I, look, I needed to hear that for real, for real. Thank you. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank, thank you, man. Um, nah, you good, bro. You good. Yeah, thank you, bro, for real, for real. Thank you. And like I said, I look forward to, I look forward to getting your story out there, man, and sharing it with the world, bro. So, thank you for giving me the opportunity. All right. Yeah. yeah uh, All right. All right, All right man. man. Thank you for doing the video, bro. For real, for real. Thank you.